finished today talking with us. Yeah, yeah. it's great to, great to be here. Yeah, Dennis, can you tell us uh, your story getting into crypto? Yeah, I think I think my story is probably very similar to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in 2017, heard about Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the crazy price action that was happening, and that's what really brought me in initially. Just you know, embracing the and the curiosity around everything that was happening in the space, and then yeah. yeah, just got hooked ever since then, and spent a lot of time, you know, outside of my day job, you know, looking into new tokens and, mm -hmm. and DeFi and that whole ecosystem, and yeah. really started getting into it in. 2019, 2020, and then obviously the last year and a half has been uh, a wild journey uh, as part of, of that space. And, yeah. uh, and was fortunate to be able to bring my work life to that as well. And now I work on the crypto business at mm -hmm. Wealth Simple, which is a Canadian yeah. fintech platform, and really thinking about how do we help democratize access to everything that's happening in the crypto ecosystem to uh, Canadians, you know, everywhere across the country. So yeah. that's great merging of my personal passions with, uh, with totally. my day job. So that's yeah. really fun. So anyone that survived it, like, the last few years, we're going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell uh, uh, us like how is the Canadian market different? Yeah, I think, you know, what's unique about Canada is we have lots of great crypto talent. So, you know, lots of great founders and builders across the ecosystem, you know, find themselves coming from Canada. And so we have like a really great uh, ethos of builders in crypto. And I think that's translating into a lot of excitement and adoption across uh, of crypto more broadly across the country. Yeah. And and even on the regulatory front, we're starting to see more progress mm -hmm. and uh, just more attention from regulators to help figure out how do we bring the right sort of attention and, and careful planning in the space so that uh, it can be a way for Canada to benefit from the technology rather than it be something they're suppressing. So uh, yeah, definitely seeing a lot of excitement across the country for, for mm -hmm. everything that's happening in crypto. Totally. I'm also a Canadian. Yeah. So getting the getting it right, working with the, like regulations is such a key to for adoption, right? So 2021 is almost over. What do you see adoption, particularly in Canadian market? Are they crazy about NFT? Or are they still getting really many of the institutional custody for like Bitcoin to get started? What what do you predict in the next six months in terms of adoption? Yeah, I think there's probably two main trends we're seeing. One on the retail side, obviously, with just you know being in a bigger bull market, there's a lot more attention from retail users to trade crypto to get more exposure to the asset class and even play around with like DeFi, NFTs and, and the eco growing ecosystem around crypto. And we're glad to be able to build a platform that helps more and more people access that. And we're seeing a ton of growth this year in, mm -hmm. in, on that front. Yeah. And then I think the second story is around the institutional side. So, yeah. you know, Canada was the first country to allow a Bitcoin ETF and we're really paving the way oh, for right. institutional yeah use cases and adoption of crypto. So, yeah. you know, it's awesome to see us pioneering stuff like that. And I think that trajectory is going to continue to take off over the next six months as we get more clarity from regulators on different types of products. Uh, we see more institutions willing to enter the asset class in different use cases. So uh, I think both of those fronts are, are super exciting in, in yeah. the Canadian market right now. Amazing progress. Yeah. yeah What's great. your personal take on NFT? I love it. I, you know, I'm not really like an art guy, so it took me a long time to get the concept of NFTs. But you know, spending more time in the space and really digging into it, mm -hmm. I think it's awesome for creators. I think it's you know leading to so many unique ways for people to create and share their work, sure. uh, for people to build communities around their work. Mm -hmm. And I'm particularly excited about what's happening in you know the gaming world and how oh, NFTs right. intersect with with gaming. Like I'm sure a lot of people in crypto, you know, we were all mm -hmm. gamers when we were younger, and mm -hmm. so it really. Uh, is awesome to see how crypto is proliferating the, the game economies and, and unique ways that games are going to be built. So that, that's one area where I'm really interested to see development and, and new growth and, and new applications. Uh, but yeah, it's also awesome to have like a cool you know Twitter profile picture. <laughs> yeah, the well. personal so, profile, right? Uh, yeah, yeah I, think, I think all of that is, is it just brings a lot more fun to a space that I think has historically attracted you know, a lot more serious people or serious discussions. I think it's it's awesome to have the fun element getting totally. so much attention now. So yeah, I'm, I'm that's totally a great story. Yeah, yeah, thank you for today. Yeah, thank you well, for having me. Nice yeah. meeting you.